welcome back to my channel, Kentucky Fried Fun, and welcome if you're new. Today, I'm going to be doing a, another nighttime kitchen cleaning video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ruth, and on my channel, you'll find cleaning motivation, declutter motivation, and decoration inspiration. If you like that type of content, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe. And then once you've clicked that red subscribe button, please be sure to also click the little bell right next to it, and that will just send you a notification whenever I upload a new video. This is a collab with one of my good friends here on YouTube. Her name is Lynn and her channel is It's Lynn's Life. She will also be doing some kitchen cleaning and she will be rearranging her dining room. I'm super excited to see what she does to rearrange her dining room. And I'll be sure to leave a link to her video and her channel up in the cards as well as down in the description box. The first thing that I'm doing in this nighttime kitchen clean with me, as you saw, I was putting away the food as well as just clearing the table. And then here I'm going to be wiping off the table with my Mrs. Meyers all purpose spray in the lemon verbena scent. Finally, I got you, baby, here in my heart. When I'm with you, I feel so While I was wiping off the table, I wanted to go ahead and switch out my salt and pepper shakers for the little Easter bunnies to these corn cob ones and here I'm just filling them with black pepper as well as salt. I think I should get a funnel to help me fill these. <laughs> Whoops! They are huge so it took a little while to fill them but I absolutely love them. I found them at Good Goodwill a little while back obviously before they shut down for right now and I'm just filling those up so that we can use them for the summertime. and refilled our napkin holder. The dining room table all done, it is time to now put away the food and then clear off this island. You see some projects there that I was working on, just some Dollar Tree DIYs for a guest bathroom. I found these DIY ideas from Bargain Bethany, she has a Dollar Tree channel and right now she's doing a lot of DIYs since she can't really shop too much since she is pregnant and she's trying to be careful considering the circumstances right now and so I'm just putting these things away and we did go ahead and redo our laundry room or our bathroom we are going to be doing our laundry room but our Airbnb bathroom and just down there just putting up some decorations and stuff and I did post some pictures of these up on my Instagram and I would absolutely love it if you go over there and check those out. My Instagram will be here on the screen as well as down in the description if you would like to follow me over there. These are the little jars that I got from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love them. I did purchase a third one for the Q-tips and the little chalkboards are actually back way from our wedding and I just tore the little paper clips off. And then here is a little bathtub. It is actually a Dollar Tree bathtub toy and I filled it with some grocery bags, rocks, and some little succulents. And then that is just a rub on sticker. It's super, super cute and farmhousey. Now that the island is all cleared, I just went ahead and wiped it down. I used to wait until I was completely done with the dishes and everything to wipe down everything, all the countertops, the island, and the table. But I started, I kind of like to do this because then I feel like I'm getting stuff done. Like check off the kitchen table, check off the island, and then I can focus on over here. I'm going to go ahead and do this little spot as well, just putting these papers in this little packet that I also got from Dollar Tree. I like doing this because it just kind of keeps them organized and I don't know, just, that's just me. Oh, no, no. I don't know what I could say. Now it is time 
time to do the dishes and I'm just going to be starting off by putting away the dishes that have been drying. You may notice that I don't hand dry my dishes. I don't know. I'm just too lazy, I guess. I figure I can do other things and the dishes can air dry overnight. Comment down below if you are one that likes to go ahead and hand dry your dishes and put them away or if you are more like me and like to let them air dry and put them away the next morning or like I am right now. Also, while you are down there, go ahead and give my video a big thumbs up if you like the cleaning that you've seen so far. That helps my channel out so much and it lets YouTube know to push my video out more. And also, I hope you are enjoying this video and that it is giving you the cleaning motivation, whether you're cleaning all along with me or you're watching to give you some motivation to clean afterwards. <laughs> When we did our garage declutter, we moved our grill up to our porch and I saw this cute flipper at Aldi the other day and Michael didn't have one yet so I went ahead and got it and here I'm just taking off the plastic so I can give it a good wash before we use it. Time to wash all of the dishes and I'm just going to be using a generic dish soap that I'm currently just trying to finish up before I move on to more of my Method and Mrs. Meyers dish soaps. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for. I also wanted to go ahead and get the sticker residue off of the thing, so I'm just going to be using this Goo Gone that I also actually got from Dollar Tree. It is works wonders. It's a small bottle, but you don't need that much. It took some scrubbing and some hot steamy water, but I finally got the stinker off. Now it is time for, you guessed it, to scrub out the sink and get that nice and clean after having the dirty dishes inside of it. I also wanted to go ahead and take this time to replace my sponge head. I try to do this fairly often. My mom actually gave me this scrub brush as a gift once and I just get the packs of scrub pads, whatever you call them, from Walmart. They, I get the two in a pack and I like to get the ones with the flowers and leaves because it just makes me extra happy when I'm washing dishes. Now that the dishes are done and the sink is all nice and clean, it's time to go ahead and wipe off the stove as well as the rest of the countertops. have trying to be more thoughtful about wiping off the handles of our fridge. I don't do it that often to be honest just because we don't have little kids so we don't have sticky fingers and things like that but with things going on right now and just in general and it makes it look nicer. I try to do it more often and now I am going to go ahead and give the floor a good vacuum. I shut my eyes trying not to speak pretend that I'm dreaming. 
I also went ahead and just lit this candle. I like to do that after I've cleaned the kitchen. It just makes it smell nice and fresh. This is a candle I got from Aldi. And then I'm going to be replacing the towels from the uh, Easter-y type ones that I had out for these more summery ones. Now the kitchen is all clean. I love going to bed with a nice clean kitchen. It's just so, so nice. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it gave you the cleaning motivation that you need. If it did, please be sure to go ahead and give this video a, a big thumbs up. And if you like what you saw, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe and click that little bell so that you don't miss out on any more of my videos. Also, be sure to go over to Lynn's channel at Insulin's Life and watch her cleaning video.